you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries december 21st monday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 1 verses 39 to 45 In those days Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting the child leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the holy spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb and why has this happened to me for as soon as i heard the sound of your greeting the child in my womb leaped for joy and blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the lord the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends we continue reading from luke picking up from yesterday's text In the last two days we heard about the two annunciations to Zachariah and to Mary about the birth of two special children John the Baptist and Jesus obviously both mothers cousins to each other must have been very excited about the birth of their child they were anxious to share together their joy and happiness in one way it would make sense for Mary to visit Elizabeth because the younger should visit the older on the other hand elizabeth should be the one to visit because mary's child was a person of a such rank and dignity god's own son in a way the story is more interested in the children than in the mothers and luke uses his infant narrative as a vehicle to present in advance some of the characteristics of jesus future life here it is the characteristic of the service that he illustrates jesus later on will say i have come to serve and not to be served and so still in his mother's womb he comes to visit his cousin john rather than wait at home to be visited visited the power of the spirit is also much in evidence john leaps in his mother's womb at the very sound of jesus voice his mother recognized this as the power of god in jesus reaching out to her son elizabeth herself is also filled with the spirit and recognizes in her young cousin the mother of her lord as we saw the choice of the first reading is interesting it is taken from the song of solomon a poem of a passionate love between to young people it is a fitting expression of love that should exist between jesus and his followers and between the followers themselves there is no such thing as a purely spiritual love true love literally embodies the whole person spirit mind emotion and body mary filled with the spirit will soon break out in that wonderful hymn of praise that we call the magnificat a hymn that will proclaim the message of liberation jesus will later deliver by word and action we will see that tomorrow amen may god bless us